welcome back to my channel. It's Summer Rachel here. And today I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite pink pieces in my closet. I decided to put together a bunch of fun spring inspired outfits that are all pink themed. And I also did a little TikTok on it. Um, I get a lot of questions on my little TikTok videos on where each piece is from. So I thought I'd put together a try and haul explaining where everything's from and also um, just a little bit of a description of e each piece and like what I love about it and then also how I styled them. So let's just jump right in. So the first outfit we have is actually the one that I'm wearing right now. This is actually my favorite blazer in my whole closet. It's so fun. I love the whole color blocking of red and pink. It reminds me of like it like Valentine's Day, almost like girl power, very feminine, like powerful blazer. I don't know. I just love it. It's super, super cute, and it's from Nasty Gal. I got it in a size small. And then the top that I'm wearing is from Boohoo, which is also in a size 2. I also decided to pair this outfit with these white boy shorts from Boohoo. I got them in a size two. I love these. Very spring, very forward. Um, I got these because I was like super excited about having white bottoms that weren't just like white denim. And then I paired them with these Ray heels. I am obsessed with these. I'm really into the heeled sandal look right now. Um, these are also very, very good spring staples for your closet, and they're very comfortable. You've seen my uh, last video of me breaking down my green outfits from my green outfit haul on TikTok. Um, it was inspired by a green bag that I got from AliExpress, and I also got it in pink. So um, a couple of you were asking for pink outfits, and I was like, well, perfect, because I have this cute little pink bag that will go with all of these outfits but I will link this down below for you guys it's from Aliexpress it was literally like three dollars such a steal and it's super precious so this is the pink bag that you guys saw in the video and let's go to the second outfit so this set so precious once again we have color blocking going on red and pink and it is from Tiger Mist it is a mesh top and bottom and it's just ruched on the front and then also ruched on the bottoms so I actually wore this at a festival um, at ACL festival day one and that's why I got it it is so so comfortable I mean I spent like eight hours at a festival in like the Texas heat in August wearing this and I was just like running around and like laying in grass and you know just jumping around and this is the most comfor comfortable thing I've worn at a festival before. Um, I definitely recommend getting a little two-piece set like this. Um, I know Her Pony, the label, has really great sets that are very similar to this. They're a little more expensive, but they're like strictly like festival wear and they're all, I'm pretty sure, um, original designs. So you definitely are paying for the the originality of those. But Tiger Mist has really great festival wear as well, and that's where this is from. I got it in an extra small, and like I said, so, so comfortable. Love it. As for the shoes that I'm wearing, I put on these Naked Wolf boots. They're a little dirty, but I also wore them at ACL Festival, so they've been through quite a few trips. They've also been through a festival in Arizona as well. But these are the Art Wicked, and... Naked Wolf, very sick. These boots are so cool, and they're also like Doc Martens. I think they're worth the investment. Um, these go with pretty much any festival outfit, and I just feel like this kind of elevates your look because they're so, like, the platform's so thick. It makes my legs look miles long, and it makes me so much taller. And I got those in a size 6. Next outfit we have... This fresh little cropped cardigan. It's from Boohoo. It's a size small. It's a cute little number if you're going somewhere where you know it's going to be a little breezy. And then I paired it with these white jeans from Boohoo, which are also a size 2. I get a lot of questions about these jeans 
Um, they're like the perfect bagginess, but they still hug me in all the right places. So I love these jeans a lot. I'll be sure to look for those for you. I got these both last summer, so hopefully they're still online. Next up, we have this blazer dress that I got from Nasty Gal. It is a size... This is a size small, and I paired it with these boots that I got from Lulu's. I got this actually for my sorority recruitment. It was like the perfect shade of pink. We're, we are Zeta, so our third day, our philanthropy day is pink, and yeah. I picked this bad girl out. I feel like a boss ass bitch when I'm wearing this blazer dress. I will be honest. Blazer dresses are a major power move. I love them a lot. Next up we have this precious tie top from Amuse Society. And the pants that I'm wearing in the video are also Amuse Society. I think this is a very fun spring outfit. And also this tie top um, is a great staple for spring. It goes with almost like any, like you can pair it with baggy jeans, maybe a denim skirt, um, some white linen pants. Um, it's great for graphic pants, you know, to kind of like offset the craziness of the pants that you're wearing. But these are super comfortable pieces. I love anything that has a tie in the front. I think it's so sassy and cute. And this kind of gives me like the notebook vibes. Like I feel like Rachel McAdams would wear this outfit in the notebook for sure. Next we have, I got so many questions about this one. Um, this pink floral skirt, once again, red and pink. Big trend in this video, I must say. This is from Princess Polly, and I got it in a size two. I paired it with this top from Nasty Gal. This is also a really great crop top to have in your closet. I got it in a size two, and it's almost like the shape of a bra. I really love tops that feel like bras rather than like laying on me just like a regular tee. Um, I just like it much better because I feel like it accentuates me more. I don't know. I just, it's definitely my style to have like a little itty bitty crop top on. And I paired it with these, I've talked about these in my past video, but these white boots from Nasty Gal. They are also Koi footwear. If you guys want to check them out, these are really comfortable boots and they give you kind of like a go-go girl vibe. I love them. And next we have this little bardeau top from Princess Polly. You guessed it. It has really pretty little floral daisies on there. It's a size two. It's precious. You can wear it on or off your shoulders if you're feeling sexy, if you're feeling cute. Up to you. And then I got a bunch of questions about these shorts. So these are from Revice. Revice is like my favorite denim brand. They just hug my butt like, like a glove. I don't know what it is about Revice, but I got these in a size 25. Yeah, these are the Rachel. So they have the Rachel and then they have the Monica, but this is the Rachel. And I actually cut a hole in the back because they have this style where they have a slit right under your butt cheek, super cheeky, I love. And because these are so long on me, I just really wanted like to spice them up. So I went ahead and I sliced it right here with some scissors. But these jeans are really, really high quality. And what I also love is how thick the waistband is. Like this is like the right measurement and it just sinks right into like my hourglass and makes me look so much skinnier than I am um, but yeah these hug me like a glove I highly recommend I got them in a size 25 these are true to size okay next we have this two-piece set from boohoo I got each in a size 2 I thought it was so cute just like clueless vibes I was really into pink this past summer like everything I ordered with my collabs was like everything pink I think this is really great for spring too. I think this would be great for a date. And next we have this Thai cardigan. I think these are so sexy because they show off just a little bit of under boob. I love a good under boob. 
Um, it's from Nasty Gal and I got it in a size small. And then these pants are also from Nasty Gal. I got them in a size 2. Okay. Next, we have... You guys loved this blazer so much. This blazer is from Shopo. I got it in a US 4. And it's a bit of an oversized look, so I got it a 4 um, to be, like, bigger on me so I can layer with it. And then this dress. Oh, my gosh. Another one of my favorite pieces. It's ruched on... It's a double ruched on the front and on the back. So when it's, like, cinched, it makes my butt and my waist look... Like, my butt looks way bigger and my waist looks so much smaller. It just accentuates the curves. Once again, it plays with the shape of your body and, like... It's great. It's really great, guys. It's from Verge Girl. It's a size 6. I think that's an Australian size, actually. And then we have this Joy Lab workout set. Um, it is pretty close to Set Active, if you guys have ever worn Set Active. It feels essentially the same, um, except it's like half the price. Uh, Target actually has some pretty good workout wear. And then I threw on this Brandy Melville crop hoodie. This is so old. I'm pretty sure I got it like on the discount rack of Paxson. So if I find this for you guys, that'll be like amazing. This workout set's super comfortable. I don't work out, but I like to look like I do. So I'll wear this to like the library and study in it. Um, but it really like hugs every, it's like a second layer of skin almost. It's really great. These are the sneakers that I wore. These are 98 Air Maxes. Pretty sure. But these are probably my favorite sneakers in my closet. Um, they're just, I think they're so sick. I love them. And they're 98. I'm a 98 baby. So even better. But these go with pretty much all of my sweatsuits and all my workout wear. So I always throw these on. Next we have these hot pink pants from Adika. These are an extra small. And, I mean, I just feel like a Barbie doll in them. They're so fun. And then I paired it with this crop top from Princess Polly, which you guys should really invest in this crop top. Like, it goes with so much. Um, I did another TikTok of me styling it three different ways. And, like, it's so versatile. A great, great staple for your closet. Um, you can go out in it. You can wear it with sweats. Like, you can, like go to brunch in it. I don't know. You can do so much with this crop top and really dress it up. So I highly recommend getting it. It's the perfect cut to like, sh like right at your boobs. Like it's not too long and it's not too short. I swear they have the perfect measurements. Get it. It's a maze. I also got it in a size two. I'm a size two in Princess Polly. Okay, next we have this sweet little... I guess like French inspired top. I don't really know what this is called, but it has puff sleeves, high neck, open back, big bow in the back, and these beautiful buttons on the side. Like this top really, it's got it all. It's got fun surprises. I feel so sexy in it. Um, and it's from Nasty Gal as well. I got it in a size zero. And then the jeans. These are another pair of my favorite jeans. So I usually only wear uh, Zara or Revice denim because any other denim company is not like true denim. You know what I mean? Like those like half like, it's like half cotton and then like another fabric and it's like slightly stretchy. No, like I like real actual denim. I like my denim to be thick and I like to feel like I'm being like sucked in by my pants. So, these are Zara. Um, they're a USA 2. Next up, we have this precious little Boohoo crop top. I got it in a size 2. This ruching. I love this kind of style on your boobs because it makes them look so much bigger than they are. And then it makes, like, your 
waist and below so much tinier. So that's a big help if uh, my small girls out there needed any style tips. If you get tops like that, that ruche around your boobs, like this top does, it helps it give off the illusion that you have bigger boobs. Next, we have another pair of Revice denim. There are a lot of questions about these jeans as well. These pants make me look so much taller than I am. They cinch my waist. They have a nice hole right here, it's perfect. And like I said earlier, how my shorts had a slit in the butt, these are the original revised jeans that have a slit, but I ended up, so it started just like right here when I bought them, like it was short. It was like not as big as the pocket, like it was maybe this big, but I ended up cutting it and stretching it out because I'm a hoe and I like to have my ass cheek out basically. Um, I think it's super edgy and I think it's a fun little surprise because you know like the rest of my legs are covered So might as well show off a little cheek, you know, I think it's cute I got these in a 26, but I actually wish I had gotten 25 Revise best jeans ever check them out Next we have this oversized turtleneck it is from Boohoo, and I wanted it to be oversized to the point where it was a dress on me, and I guessed right, so I got it in a medium and large. I think it's a fun way to brighten up cold winters, so that's why I got it. I actually got it this past winter, and I was like, this is so depressing. I don't like all these black sweaters, gray, maroon. Like, I wanted something fun, so I got this color. I paired these Offends hemp jeans with this boohoo top I got these jeans off of princess Polly in a size 2 but the brand is offense offense is all over princess Polly they have really really sick uh, graphic tees I actually have a hemp tee from them and it is the softest t-shirt in my closet and it fades really well and it just gives off like a very vintage vibe um, after like one wash so I really like that um, it doesn't take a long time for the shirt to break in which gives it kind of some character I like it a lot and then last we have this hot pink sweater this is from boohoo it's very out there very pink very neon um, got it in a size 2 these are from Adika they have a cutout on the side and that's why I bought these I knew that playing around with this cutout shape was going to make me look so tiny at the waist um, I absolutely love accentuating my waist because like I have a bit of a curve so anything with a cutout that's gonna like show that off and make my waist like even smaller I'm putting it in my shopping cart these pants are sick these are a great edgy staple to add to your closet as well Last pair of shoes that I wore are these flame cowboy boots. These are from Adika and yeah, these are probably one of my more fun pieces in my closet. Um, I like to buy really like outlandish pieces just because I'm only young once so you might as well buy like really fun crazy stuff. Um, you know, people always tell me like, oh, like, I can't believe you're wearing that. Like, I could not pull that off. Like, only you could pull that off. And I'm like, no, sister, you could pull it off too. I believe in you. Have the confidence. Pick out some crazy things that you think are cute and wear them. As long as you rock them and pull them off yourself, no one's going to say anything. And if they do, so be it. Wear crazy stuff. I love wearing fun, bright, outlandish things all the time because, I mean, this is the only time I get to do it. This is the only, when I'm old, I'm not going to have events to wear crazy stuff to. I mean, maybe I will. I hope so. But, like, right now, like, why wear something boring when you can stand out and have fun with what you're wearing? That's my take on that. If you guys are too scared, Start adding little things to your closet slowly. Just add, you know, some fun pieces here and there. Like, buy a basic black cardigan, but then also buy some crazy flame boots. And, like, those two can go together. If you match simple with crazy, I think it's a perfect balance. Kind of like me.
thank you so so much for watching guys i am loving the support off of my tiktoks again be sure to check out my tiktok and follow me on there show me some love i'll show you guys some love back and um let me know what you guys want to see from me next um i'm very interested to hear what you guys have to say um and i'd love some feedback so comment down below what you thought and i will see you guys next time